All right, it's Real 92.3, the cruise show. Minus cruise today, unfortunately. Colo Bocchini is in with us, Colo. man. Ted Lasso. Thank you so much for joining us, dude. We appreciate it, man. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me on. Big fan of the show. Uh, season three just wrapped. We're going to start with the tough question right out the gate. Did you cry filming or watching the last episode of Ted Lasso? It's definitely watching. Mm. Um, because they put the music on, they've edited it. They saw yeah. it smooth. It's all like tear jerking. When you're filming it, it's hard work, you know, and it's something like that. When you're in the moment, it's completely different. You know, you have to digest it. And then when you when you watch it on the, on the screen, um, um, it invokes a lot of emotions. So definitely watching. Yeah, my wife was cr bawling, <laughs> bawling, crying, crying, crying. And Ma's everything okay? She's like, I'm going to miss Ted Lasso. Aww. But I'm so happy that everything worked out great for everyone, you know. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something that I wanted to ask you, too. Like, the happiness of that episode and just, like, them, you know, everything ending on a pretty positive note for everybody, really, um, seemed like such a great way to end that show because it was full of po positive vibes from Jump, even through this season. But a lot of people were, were negative on the Internet about it, you know? And I'm like, can't you people just be happy that people are happy? <laughs> well, that is a, that's a good question for life. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, because we live in that world. Nobody's happy for anybody else. No, uh, no. I, I heard something the other day, and uh, uh, a, a friend of mine um, said that she went on, she, went, she was dating this guy, um, and um, he said to her, turned around and randomly said to her, you're too happy. <gasps> and she kind of like, what do you say to that? You know, right. this is how people are thinking in, in this day and age. Mm -hmm. You know, you can definitely be too happy. You know, and um, um, people on the internet, you know, what, they want to say whatever they want to say. But, you know, I think they're mostly mad that the show that they come to love and, you know, they kind of think was a part of them uh, won't be around or won't be around in, in the same facet as it was. Um, but, yeah, you know, people have their own opinion and that's that's no one can stop that, to be honest. Yeah, we mentioned happiness and emotions and stuff like that. I know there was a therapist, a, a, a theme therapist, mm -hmm. right? Prior to the show, did you ever go to therapy? Did you, what was your thoughts on therapy? What did it change after the show? Or see, I'm a part of the generation that was the last generation before like the social media boom. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, you know when you know blackberries and you know that yeah, kind of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, two way pagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Um, um, I'm a part of the generation that was like, we don't need therapy, be a man, and, and, and you know, all of that, you know, rubbish. But um, uh, now I'm definitely an advocate for, you know, you, you need to, uh, uh, a place to vent, I know, you know, kind of like just to pass on the burden. And uh, therapy is, is one of the best ways to do it because they're professionals mm -hmm. and they know how to facilitate, you know, you can you can use your spouse or your you know your brother or sister, but really you know, you know give them a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't hurt their bias, anyways, man. They're gonna judge you. Family judges you more yeah, than anybody yeah, else. Yeah. So you like, you're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you fucking exactly crybaby. <laughs> Get it to fucking get it together, man. Yeah. You know, we were talking prior uh, before we started the interview about stylists. Is there anything that you like? have seen and somebody wanted to put on you that you were just like I am absolutely not wearing that a lot of things <laughs> <laughs> um, Emily my publicist is, is probably gonna laugh uh, uh, there, there's a, I go through you know uh, I've been through a few stylists mm -hmm. um, and some of them have ideas uh, and some of them you know it doesn't really you know click with me um, I am a, I, I love fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, I like, you know, different things. Weird things suit me, you know, like, you know, like a, I don't know, is this a poncho or a vest? It's a, a sleeveless I, sweater. I, I have no idea. I I'm would say it's a vest, but also yeah. a yeah. sweat. I don't know. It's I, don't very know. I don't know. <laughs> um, um, but I put it on and it's I liked trendy, it. It's trendy, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I put it on, I liked it, and, and it worked. Um, but yeah, there are a, a lot of things that I will, you know, be like, I, I don't want to wear that. I'm never going to wear that. Mm. Um, and it might even be just a normalist thing, you know, like it might just be like something corduroy or something weird. <laughs> and then, and then uh, you know, you think that I'd like it, but I don't. But I just like what I like, to be honest. Mm. You have a fair, favorite pair of kicks? We we're talking about shoes. Yeah. Do you have like your holy grail? Not, I'm not in that sense. You know, I am 
I'm very energetic. I'm, 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 I'm all over the place. So I do go through a lot of uh, uh, shoes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and I do like shoes a bit messed up. I don't like them uh, uh, like in immaculate. Mm -hmm. So I you like don't believe them. in like creasing the shoes? Yeah, so like, you don't walk you on like, your you heels. You don't walk on your heels. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. So no, you no. buy the like eight hundred dollars shoes that already look used? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, with a golden goose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, <laughs> that, 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 exactly. That's your speed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, have, well, I have, I have a pair of those actually, <laughs> um, and they're great because you, you you can literally just like you can do whatever you want in them. <laughs> yeah, it's the style of the shoe. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I, I I do have a lot of shoes, but but you know I'm not. You're not that guy. I'm not. I'm not that guy. Like, like a sneakerhead. That's what we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like buy you know shoes to to now to then sell them at a higher price. I, yeah, I hate. We call those scumbags. I yeah. hate. <laughs> I hate that so much. I'm like, these are now five hundred dollars because okay, because someone bought all eighty. In yeah. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> you know. How do you say that? How do you call someone an asshole in the UK? Uh, <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> Wanker. Wanker. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was used a lot in Ted Lasso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They chanted yeah, that yeah, a yeah, lot. Yeah. Or, or is Wanker, no bed. You know, there's a lot of uh, plonker. Plonker. Twat. There right. is there is a lot of, uh, of of ways of calling someone an arsehole. Yeah. In the UK, yeah. Is there any uh, American profanity that you, uh, you, uh, you, you enjoy saying? <laughs> uh, profanity, you know. But, um, <laughs> um, like, is it my, my, my stylist, Or any expressions you find my like... My stylist says... He says every time I say something that he agrees upon, he proceeds to say that part. That part. That part. <laughs> that part. <laughs> I'm like, that part. Wh which part? <laughs> <laughs> that part. Is it the beginning or the, <laughs> or the middle? Like, which part did plot. you agree with? Give me, give me the plot here, you know? <laughs> I'm a storyteller. You know I mean? That's yeah. so funny. You know, we, you, I saw on your Instagram that you had just tried with Cristo American football. <laughs> that was very interesting to see. Like, I, the second the video started, Crystal just threw it, and I was like, ooh, yeah, the ball just went yeah, sideways. Yeah, I was like, I don't yeah. think it's supposed to go that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How challenging was that for you? That was um, very eye-opening. You know, really? Because I was always like, yeah, like, um, most American sports are done with your hands. It's like, you it, you know, it's easier. Uh, me being an uh, ex, uh, you know, soccer player, I would mm. call it football. Football. Uh, football, football mm -hmm. player. Um, um, you know, uh, when I was younger, um, and now coming here, but I have a lot more respect for you know the NFL because that is a difficult sport. Like just to even throw it correctly is just hard, mm -hmm. you know, because it, you want it to look pretty. Yeah, <laughs> gotta have a perfect <laughs> spiral. You know, in football, you kick the ball; it doesn't. It, it already does the the the, the you know, what it's supposed to do. <laughs> this one, you have to create the spiral. And it has to look pretty, and it has to be like Hollywood, and uh, um, um, uh, it's difficult to do that. If if it's like an ugly, if it goes to where it goes, they'll be like, yeah, but it, you know, it, I didn't get, you know, it's a rough pass, but mm. you got there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have a lot of respect for for that sport now. We need to get you to try uh, baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, Chris, cricket. Yeah, right. I, I, you know, I was gonna go to a uh, Dodgers game, but um, uh, you know, timing wise, I didn't get to go. But apparently that those games are really long. Well, they're faster now, so they have like new rules this season. Mm -hmm. So they're just like on pitch clocks and everything oh, like yeah, that. Yeah. So it's a little bit faster that this part. season, yeah. That part. <laughs> <laughs> but Crystal actually threw out the first pitch at Dodger Stadium, so we need to get you to do that. Oh yes, 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 yes. Uh, well, whenever they're ready, you know. Um, she I'll, works I'll, there, so she's yeah. the plug. Oh, wicked! Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah hook it up, then. Let's go. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> Question: After being on on the show to Lasso, has your relationships with professional footballers straightened? Do you get free tickets to matches uh <laughs> what's that like what's yeah. the access uh, uh we, yeah we get all the perks um i've i was i've been in a few i've been in a lot of uh cha dressing rooms you know changing rooms um um you know in man city in tottenham in arsenal in you know west ham in the list goes on i've met all those guys um you know even um funny story i went to uh las vegas for uh my publicist's birthday uh, and I was in a club uh, called Win. Yeah, Win. Oh yeah, the Win. And <laughs> basically, Ryan Reynolds uh, bought this team called AFC Rex. Yeah, mm -hmm. saw that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they won their league. Mm -hmm. So I think as a as a president, I don't know, the, the whole team got flew over to Vegas, and they was in the club at the exact same time as me. Wow. And they got wind that I was in the club, and the manager asked me, "Do I want to go over there?" And I ended up uh, having a night out with AFC Rex. 
That's hey. amazing. Wow, that's sick. That's so cool, He's part man. of the championship team. I was just there like, I was just there like, hey. Hey. I'm a fake football. I'm just- <laughs> <laughs> no, but you played growing up. So yeah, 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 being yeah, in those yeah, locker rooms, yeah. does that do anything for your inner child? It does. It does. It, it, it invokes a lot of uh, childish behavior. Um, <laughs> some, of, some I'm not proud of. <laughs> um, there's uh, many, many videos online of me just doing random stuff, you know, when in between takes, you know, just to like, when you're in that kind of space and you're around a bunch of lads, um, yeah, you just do, you do some dumb stuff. But but it's it's all uh, fun and games and and I've loved every minute of it. Mm-hmm. When you're inside one of the Premier League uh, uh, locker rooms, do you get anything signed? Do you have like a prized possession of like memorabilia? Yeah, uh, actually, yes, yeah, I do. Um, basically, uh, my team, which is Arsenal, mm-hmm. um, faced a West Ham, and it was a game where you know I was I was I was, I was pretty annoyed because we was two 0 up and it ended up two two, oh. um, and it was quite a crucial game. But after the game. The, the West Ham goalkeeper, Fabianski, came to meet us. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's a big fan of the show and we was having a great time. And then he gave me his jersey and it was signed. Oh, oh was wow. Like wore in the game. That's and um, I've, I've already, I've got that at home. You got it home yeah. framed. Yeah, yeah. Well, not really framed. That's like, <laughs> no, it's hanging there. It's great. Um, but, <laughs> no, I wear it sometimes. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Oh, so you wear autographed jerseys. No, no, no I mean, I wore it That's one That's proper. Time. I had... I had um, <laughs> I had to do something like for you know it was like a football Friday shirt thing where for like for like charity and I was like that is a perfect shirt to mm-hmm. wear because it was so like new legendary yeah and sign is yeah. it a trip when they ask you for pictures the professional footballers yeah like <laughs> what the fuck yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is it, uh, w- when they when they call me captain um but <laughs> captain <laughs> throw Isaac Isaac come here Isaac <laughs> like Chiellini who plays for LFC L- yeah. over here he he calls me captain. I've met him many occasions. He's like, Captain. <laughs> it's like he takes a photo with me. And, and, you know, Harry Kane called me Captain as well. And he's the captain of England. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I mean, wow, okay. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's quite surreal. Um, and, you know, the way they talk to you is, is almost like you are, like, what they do. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so, like... It's a, there's a level of respect. It is. It, it's, it's um, um, I mean, they really love the show and... They're like, some of them, are always, they go into detail and they, they say stuff like, the dressing room is exactly how it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even at that level. And, and you know, um, you don't get that insight, you know, every day. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, it's been wonderful. What would you say has been like your most favorite part about your character Isaac's development throughout the whole show? So, uh, hmm. His haircut. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, when you got to wear the judge wig, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> uh, he's had, he's had a lot of outfits. <laughs> yeah. Um, but well, my favorite part is I think he's become a man. Mm-hmm. You know, I think at the beginning of uh, season one, I think he was he was still in that like teenage child kind of childish. Does, doesn't mean no. Obviously, he knows what he's doing. He's he's at a Premier League club, but he's also uh, you know he's immature, and he's and you know and he's it, it shows in his behaviour. But I think by the, by season three, I think he's he's a leader, mm-hmm. and he's got a lot more patience and 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 doesn't just react. He he listens, and and that's the most important thing about you know being a, a, a captain of, of anything. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to listen to the people. You know, in order to know what they want and in order to, to, to be able to do the right thing. Yeah, you had a whole episode, I mean, really, where your story arc with Colin was your character, not you. Uh, your character, it was just a, a great episode, um, you know, about the LGBTQ plus community. And um, I really liked how they wrote that and how you handled it, right? You, you know, your biggest problem with the fact that he didn't come out to the whole team was, what, why couldn't you tell me? Yeah. Like what? What? What's wrong with me mm. that you couldn't be honest with me? And that was such a an honest moment because I think there's a lot of people that have dealt with that, you know, whether it be family members or friends, etc. Like, why? Why didn't you just tell me sooner, man? What, what do you yeah, think yeah. I was gonna do? But also, you know, there is a, you know, Isaac hasn't experienced this thing before, mm-hmm. and and you know, it, it is a question of you know, he's he's wrong for answering that question because it's not about him, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. Colin. You know, does in a great way of of letting him know, but also, you know, he's human 
and he can get hurt. And if your best friend doesn't tell you something like that, you know, as big as that, then you, you almost instinctively as a human being put yourself in there and you know we are all the center of our universe you know when mm -hmm. we close our eyes at night the world stops but the world still carries on mm -hmm. but for us the world stops and then it starts again when we open our eyes in the morning mm -hmm. but um you know and that's why isaac kind of put himself involved with it and thought it's something to do with him and that's the reason why colin hasn't told him when it's nothing to do with him and it's everything to do with colin absolutely and what he's going through mm -hmm. And uh, that that that's why you know, props to Billy Harris, um, that that you know portrayed that with just his eyes, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, you know, and and on all the writing stuff that were amazing, but yeah. Your subsequent questions when you guys were up playing FIFA upstairs after he invites you in, you're all, what's the difference between a top and a bottom? Is that like, <laughs> is that sex or is that something else? Like, <laughs> these are the questions. It was just that, all the know? questions that the people yeah. want answered. It was these so the funny. These are the questions that you know, like you know. And now I can ask this question. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if I just go random, random talk to a random, random uh, gay guy and I'm like, ask these questions, and I'm a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> and now the questions. Yeah. yeah, all while you're playing FIFA, which is hilarious, man. I love yeah, it. Yeah. Such a great scene, man. So good. Speaking of FIFA, you're you're in FIFA. So what's that like? Um, and, and and do you play with yourself? Yes. Yeah, pause. 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 <laughs> in America, yo, we yo, say yo, pause. yo, yo, yo. Pause. That was crazy. <laughs> 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 no, no. I mean, I didn't mean it like that, fool. You know what I meant, dog. <laughs> do you do get you on use the your character and pick you, you use and your use you? Okay, okay. Um, 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 yeah. Uh, um, oh, it was, it was, it was something surreal. I remember like Jason coming to my trailer and being like, "Yo, got something to say," and you know, Jason came and you know, Jason has many assistants. So I was like. Am I fired? Is <laughs> 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 like, Isaac gonna die why this season? Why are you coming? <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, and he was like, it's "Crazy, it's, yeah, FIFA." You know, we, you know, we're gonna be in it. And then I was like, "You, you, what, mate?" <laughs> and then, um, yeah, you know, I was when I when I found out, I was like, "Cool," you know, I'm gonna be like one of those players that just looks nothing like myself. And I'm just gonna <laughs> look like a generic <laughs> NPC. It's like one of the build your characters. Yeah, like <laughs> NPC, like, <laughs> like, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, build your character kind of, you know, look nothing like me. And then they, they took the pictures and whatever, and they were like, uh, do facial expressions, like, <laughs> whatever. And then it came out, and I was like, Jesus, blooming Christ, <laughs> that looks exactly like me. And I was like, how did they do that? And I was like, cool. And it took, you know, for a couple of months to like, you know, for it's just, you know, people be like, yo, I'm playing with you in FIFA. And then, you know, it still kind of hasn't s sunk in. But, you know, I'm just glad that my rating isn't horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it better than some <laughs> actual professional players? Yeah, <laughs> I, I am. I start off 81. Oh. <laughs> That's not bad at all. 81? My uh, potential is 85. So I, I, that's pretty world class right there. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, damn. Like, I'm like 98 strength. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Well, yeah. in real life, I, I played as a striker. Oh, so, that's right. Yeah, yeah but yeah, you know, strikers and, and center backs, funny enough, have uh, similarities. You know, you know, you use your body. You know, you, you know, one's just like, one's yin and one's yang. Basically, mm -hmm. well, you kicked it through the net on the last episode, man. So that was your striking days mm -hmm. showing off right there. Yeah, yeah, um, um, yeah, yeah. That was funny to film. Yeah, it was great. I, just, I especially loved the the dog. The dog was just making me laugh. I yeah, mean, this dog is a really good actor. <laughs> <laughs> so it was normal, and then like, they were like, "Action!" Dog was like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> "Where's this dog?" What's going on? Yeah. You know, dogs amaze me anyway. But um, <laughs> um <laughs> but like, uh, yeah, I was you know, it was a really good uh, 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 sequence where you know Jamie Tart to Danny Rojas, Danny Rojas to, to Isaac, Isaac to Colin, Colin back to Isaac, and yeah. then Isaac's kind of like, oh no, you know, he's kind of like, he's kind of you know, he's a he's a big strong lad, but he's like he is really out of his comfort zone right mm -hmm. now. He's like he's like you know you you throw your kid into the deep end, swim. Yeah. <laughs> but it worked out, man. It worked out. Yeah, it worked out. You know, um, we have to talk about the accent because 
I think a lot of Americans think that UK accent is just one generic accent, but yeah. there's so many. So, so a, lot, a lot. How many like UK accents would you say there are? This man, this Mancunian, that's, that's what Jamie taught. He talks like this. Yeah, he's, like, he's like, the hardest he, to understand, by the way. He's like, it's poop here. Yeah. It's <laughs> poop here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, no, no, no. It, 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 he's not the hardest to understand. There's, there's Scouser, which is Liverpool. Oh. And they talk, they talk with the with the back of their throat. And then like, they talk like this. And it's like, it's like, it's almost like, um, like they, they, they've got phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> like all the time. <laughs> there's Geordie, there's Geordie, that's Newcastle. Mm -hmm. uh, my accent is South London. And there's also, there's four or five different accents in London. So there's Damn. South London, there's South London, there's, there's uh, Cockney, which is East London. There's RP, which is also, you know, it's the Queen's language. Just mm -hmm. like, you know, you see on the crown and you see on, you know, Downton, down in Downton Abbey. Downton, Downton Abbey, Abbey, yeah. Abbey. yeah. I was about to say Downing Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's a, there's, a, there's a lot in this small little island that we, you know, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, That's so it's not, it's not just like if you see someone else from England, they, they, they won't have the same <laughs> accent as me. That's crazy. I'm actually thinking of taking my mom and my sister. Well, I'm going to take them to Europe next year. And London is one of the destinations we're going to. What do you recommend? Aside from uh, Big Band in the Palace. Um, I recommend, uh, yeah, well. There's like culture. If you, if, yeah. if, if you want me to go. like You want to see the real London. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. you you got to go to places like Shoreditch. you got to go to, you know, you got there's, there's loads of like outdoor bars and, 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 and food. And London's big on food. To be honest, you gotta watch a football match. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, you How much did it cost? Because uh, I mean, not, not. a little frugal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not not His first day with women is twenty dollars or under. I might That's what he says. I might leave mom and sis in a hotel, <laughs> dog. <laughs> if it's too expensive. No. Um, um, they, uh, the, I mean, you know, they they are sometimes can be pricey if you want to get a good ticket. But if you want to get the real. You know, experience. football experience. Uh, don't bring your mom and sister because <laughs> you know it gets a bit saucy. Um, but um, yeah, then I mean, like fifty quid or something like that. I don't know. Oh, that's not too bad. I could afford that. Bad. It's not too bad. How about if I want to go get robbed? I like adrenaline. Where do I go? Oh well, you you, you go where I'm from. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, you go see Peckham. Peckham's got loads of art, culture, um, and, and loads of like really good rooftop bars. It's got oh. one of the biggest ones. Like it's called Bussy Building. Rooftop and it's like it used to be a car park. Oh, okay. And they've they've turned it into all like bars and restaurants and and it's the, the uh, rooftop wise is, is you know the the uh, top of the building roof car park they've turned it into a bar. That's oh. Right. That's so if nice. I go to your hood, I, I name drop. I, I'm valid. I'll be valid. Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> I was in a show called Top Boy before I was in Ted Lasso, mm -hmm. and that that kind of that made me. Uh, Hood valid. That gave you street cred. <laughs> the celebrity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walk into any place, they're like, my guy. And I'm like, I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know, I, I want to talk about UK, like more the UK scene, because my my boyfriend's a huge fan of UK Garage. What are some UK artists that we're Garage. sleeping on? Oh, like, garage. Like the garage. Garage. Come on, bad. Jackie. Get that together. Part, garage, garage, garage. Garage. Aluminium. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> um, yeah, no, nah, um, there's, there's, there's Grime. That's like that's um, like the new garage. So you, uh, got, you know, you you, got, you you might know artists that come out come from Graham, like Giggs, Skepta, mm -hmm. all them all of them uh, UK artists. Uh, are, you know, like Central C. Central mm. C, yeah. All, you know, he's he's this is UK rap, UK rap and UK Graham. It's it's a little bit different, but they they always collab with each other. Um, there's there's a bunch of you know Central C. You got you got all all of um, the artists that are, that are in the UK are pretty cool, pretty pretty decent. You know. Um, you know, there's just too many to even even mention. Who do you like from out this way? Because I know you're a fan. Um, I was talking your publicist, and she was mentioning you're a big hip hop fan. So, like, I mean, who do you who do you get down with over here? Hmm. Yeah, if, if you're talking about like, you know, you know, actual like big artists, you, you, you know, you got you got little baby, you got you got the uh, you got future. You know, I, I listen to some Chris Brown, Drake's. Mm -hmm. Amazing, you know. Hopefully, he drops an album soon. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard rumors. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you're plugged you're in. You looked at yeah, us yeah. like, you're can you captain, confirm bro. anything? Yeah, you're the captain. <laughs> you know, I'm like, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. A bunch, you know, um, couple people that you know, unfortunately, um, 
aren't around anymore that I used to listen to quite a lot, like, and I still listen to now, like, even though, like, they ain't around, you know, like, um, Juice World and um, XXX, mm -hmm. unfortunately, they died before their time. Um, and it's, it's like, a, 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 it's a curse for me, though. It's like, any person that I like, like, so something happens and they and they and they and they and they, and they, they end up like that's what I ha that's what happens to me like every time I mention somebody like famous then the next week they end up <coughs> she did that with the queen by the way I which is very near and dear to your heart yeah wow no okay so I was doing a podcast and I was talking <laughs> about like you know the royal family and I said I was like I'm surprised you know the queen hasn't passed yet and literally two days later, she passed. And I was just like, oh, my God, I think I, I killed her. I, I killed the queen. <laughs> some, some and then I did that with somebody I, I else, believe, too. I don't I think you did. No, I don't think I, I did. I think she had like, a long, long, incredibly beautiful life. And she was the longest reigning sovereign. And I, I'm, I'll give you a pass. Thank I you. I appreciate that. Thank that you. That you killed the queen. Thank we'll, you so we'll much. We'll make sure she wasn't able to sleep name. at night for a few years, <laughs> for a few months. <laughs> No, I literally. Busy. No, so, so, some of my friends were like damning me. They're like, "Dude, we heard the podcast two days ago, and like Queen Elizabeth died." I was like, "I, a I just swear I didn't have like a voodoo doll or anything no, you, like you, that." You, you, you are not the only one. Like a lot of people were like, "Wow, you know, when is Charles gonna get the job?" Oh, you know, oh my gosh! <laughs> and, and 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 you know, if, if people were like, "Is she gonna step down, or is, is something?" Gonna, and then you know. Yeah, because we just celebrated her jubilee. Yeah, yeah. it was mm -hmm. recently. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and I, th I believe that you know when uh, when Philip passed, which was the Duke, was her husband. Mm -hmm. I think she was she was you know she was done. Yeah, you know, because yeah. it's like they were like together for long time. Yeah, uh, yeah, about three of my lifetimes. <laughs> 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 we'll make sure she keeps your name out of her mouth, though. Yes, please. Very important. Yeah. Okay. I'll just get it wrong. Yeah. Just like get it. <laughs> just pronouncing just everything. Just pronounce it completely <laughs> wrong, and then I'll think butcher I'll be okay. it, and I'll yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cola Bocchini is here once again. Uh, Emmy winning, SAG winning. Uh, Ted Lasso season three available right now on Apple Plus. Thank you for for joining us, Letch. Yo, um, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, you could uh, hook me up with some free tickets. Uh, <laughs> I'm going I'm I'm to send you a DM. No, 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 no. I'm going to send you a DM, dog. <laughs> it's either you or Storage that I'm a DM. Oh, <laughs> storage, if you're watching, dog, I'm going to hit you up. Storage. I'm going to be out there in May. Legend. Yeah. Thank you. No, it's a pleasure. Uh, uh, for, thank you for having me on. Yeah, of course. Can I do a couple of rapid fire for Ted Lasso fans only? Of course. If you had to pick, who would Keely end up with, Roy or Jamie? Roy. Spin-off possibilities. Uh, detective show, Trent Grimm. Trent Grimm, detective show. Yeah. Should they sell the Trent Grimm book to the public? Yes, they should. And uh, put me in, because I want to make some money. <laughs> and can you do an impression of Roy Kent? Oi! <laughs> <laughs> wow, no curse word. That's surprising. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait. Fuck. <laughs> That's it. Rap. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cola, for joining us, man. It's Real 92.3 The Crew Show. Yo, check out more of our YouTube interviews now. ASAP Plus. Download the free iHeartRadio app so you can check out The Crew Show podcast.